Next repair. Now this is not, this is just a, a turntable that came in, not one of the Goodwills. I'm almost done with those. Well, and actually I have about 10 more. Um, okay, so shut this off. All right, so this is a Techniques SL1301. And I know what the problem is or what's wrong with it. Well, it's got a couple of things. Number one, tone arm stand is broken. Uh, these are kind of tough to find that fit this model. At least uh, I've been searching eBay for uh, tone arm stands. Can't find one, but I think, um, and I took a chance on getting the tone arm stand that fits the SL1200, and I, I think I can make that work. We'll see when that comes in. So that'll be a, a different segment. Uh, so let's show you what's going on with this one. I just need one of my test records. So power start. Now the tone arm is in the up position. The tone arm elevator does work. But I'll hit start and watch what the tone arm does. It moves, but it goes right to the middle of the record, and then it comes back. And that's what it does every time. Now, if I start this manually, and I go to the end of the record, it will return. At least it did yesterday. Yeah, so it's returning. And I haven't looked at the cartridge on this. It's I've got to sort this out first. And then it'll stop. All right, so I need to check out what's going on with this. Now I'm not, I haven't worked on one of these. Um, tone arm going to the middle, I'm used to that happening on like Sony's, PSX 65, 70, 75s. And at least on the 65 and the 70, that's an electronic process. And those can be really tricky to uh, troubleshoot. I'm. Uh, hoping this is a mechanical process, not an electronic, not a solely or purely electronic process. Because uh, if it's mechanical, um, then it's probably something like uh, maybe dry grease or something out of alignment or you know, an issue like that. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is flip this over, take off the bottom and see if I can determine what's going on. I don't know the status of this stylus. The stylus actually looks all right. And it's a Stanton. That's an 881. I don't think I've had an 881 before. I've had a lot of 681s. That's going to be a keeper. I'm keeping that one. That's a good cartridge. One of the perks of working on this stuff. All right, so I'm going to Flip this over, put it on the stand, and uh, see what we can see. So I'm in turntable mode because my desoldering gun decided to stop working. I think these have to come out. So on a lot of these Techniques turntables, the, uh, the screws that you have to remove to take the bottom off are red. So you can see that these are red, red screws. So I'm not sure what's going on with this one. Again, I have not worked on one of these, so we'll see if it's the same with this. Oh yeah, at least these two will have to come out. <laughs> so anyway, my uh, the soldering tool um, is, <coughs> is not working. So I have a part coming for that, and assuming the part comes in soon, I can get back into um, working on, huh, interesting, I can get back to uh, working on other things. That's interesting. So let's see. Again, have not worked on one of these before. All right, 
right, I'm gonna speed through me figuring out how to get this bottom plate off. All right, so just looking at that is, that doesn't seem right. This is really gummed up here. And when I look at the bottom, maybe it's, I don't know, that seems like it shouldn't be as gummed up as it is. So we'll come back to that. Here are the switches for the start. And those don't seem, those all move freely. And I don't see anything buried underneath that panel, but I may have to pop it off just to see, just to make sure. But that, and there's a spring there, so I'm assuming since there's a spring, that should not be that tight. And as I work it, it seems to want to loosen up a little bit. Um, that's fine, that's fine. So first, let's see if I can hit this. I'm just going to hit it with a little bit of oil and see if I can work some of that down in there. I may have to disassemble it if that's the problem. Yeah, it's not really going down in there. So that, I'm not sure if that's the problem or not. There's a screw there. I can easily remove that. Okay, so that's the adjustment screw. This one's holding it in position. And then we'll just kind of flop this over here. Feels like it's kind of gummy. Again, I don't know if this is it, but I don't believe. Again, my assumption is if there's a spring there, that should not feel as tight as it feels. Again, it could be wrong. But we'll try this one first. And it, it feels it's sticky. Stuff is sticky on the inside. All right, let me get some alcohol and clean this off and I will re-grease it. Yeah, so that's moving a lot. I assume it's supposed to move like that. All right, so just put a little tiny bit of lithium grease there. Like so. Well, it'd be nice if that's the problem. Again, I don't see anything. I th I'm, this is mechanical. I'm just about positive it's mechanical. So 
So there's that. Let's see if there's anything else here. That moves freely, that moves freely. That's free, that's free. That's free. So I don't see anything else here. And I don't, whoops, let me, uh, before I make a huge mess or mistake, let me put this back. Man, that screw is like forever long. I've got a couple more techniques in the queue right now. And I've got a whole bunch of other stuff. All right. Okay, so that is coming back now. That's good. It feels like it's free. That's free. All right, so let me just double check this. None of this stuff is gummed up. And again, I am, oops, I am <clears throat> assuming, and I'm pretty confident that there is not an electronic control involved in that. And I tried it on 12. I know it was set to 7, but I tried it on 12. And even then, 7 wouldn't go all the way to the middle. To the middle so. so let's see what happens now. It'd be cool if that's all it was. If not, I'll have to look at the service manual and see if I can figure out what's going on with it. Okay, I'm not going to put the cover back on right now. Because I want to test it and see what happens. What are the chances? Probably not good. But we'll see. All right. So repeat is on zero, power on, 33. Why are you spinning? Oh. Okay, it was coming back. All right, so let's do start. Fingers crossed. Look at that, that's all it was. Just a little bit of, a little bit of gunked up grease. That is dropping like a rock, cause let me get that set. This has a brush, so I'm gonna set it at about two and a quarter. Okay, two and a quarter. So now what I'm gonna do is now that it's seems to be working. I'm going to test for sound. So I'm going to hook this up and let's see what we get. All right, no hum, which is good. So let's start this up. Now, I don't know why that's going to one to repeat. Oh. Oh, maybe we're not good. Let's see. Okay. All right. 
Got some Johnny Rivers going. Let's have it return. Cool. Now, what I don't understand is why that goes from zero. R would just be a repeat. Zero. So I think there's something else I got to figure out on this. But at least I got it to drop at the beginning of the record. And it's. Oh, but it came back. All right, so let's let me just make sure I'm not seeing seeing things. Let's sorry, I, I'm just figuring this out because I don't I haven't worked on one of these before. All right, so right now it's on zero. If I hit start, this moves to one. Then maybe does it come back? Oh yeah, then it comes back to zero. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so uh, that's going to be it for part one. Um, so it was just not going to the, or wasn't dropping out at the beginning of the record because of that grease. And speed is good because it's quartz locked, so it's dead on. So I think that's all I'm going to have for this segment. Um, once I get the tone arm stand in, we'll work on that. But, uh, and then I'll do the, the clean up and stuff to wrap this up. But um, part one of the repair, in my opinion, is uh, done. So as always, if you like what you see, hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.